My name is Kayla, welcome back to Craft Time. Today we're gonna do a very special craft today and the poem actually is near and dear to my heart and very well suited for this mission, Deep Sea. And it's called Footprints in the Sand. Okay, so you're gonna, in your craft kit, you're gonna get a bag with all of the elements that you're gonna need to build this, okay? So we're gonna take our craft pack and we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so you're gonna have a lot of pieces. You're gonna have the foam cross. You're gonna have the poem. So it fits a little bent, then just kinda gently bent it back in place. And then we got a couple feet. We should have another one somewhere in here. We have a little bow. Here's the other foot. And then we have some puppet skulls popsicle sticks and we do have instructions also if you need also help here's some good instructions for you too you can always follow along with that as well and we have a twine string to hang this we have some seashells some glitter so make sure make sure you have something down to catch that glitter this glitter is messy Okay, so first off, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the glitter and a little bit of glue. And what we're gonna do on a Q-tip or paintbrush, we're gonna take a little bit of glue. And this is if you want to, you don't have to. We're gonna just go over the seashells a little bit with the glue. Just give a little coat, nothing too crazy. Now you're probably gonna want mom and dad to help you with the glitter because it can, like I said, get pretty messy. So just brush the glue all over the seashells because we wanna get it dry before we have to place them on our craft at the end. So it'll give some time to dry while we're doing everything else. And just paint it just like so. Okay, so now this is where you wanna be a little bit more careful. You're gonna take your pack of glitter here and let me see if, what you can do is you can take the clean side of your Q-tip and then you can just lightly dust the glitter, just like that. Lightly dust the glitter all over that seashell with the glue. Just make it add a little sparkle to it. Now you can add a little bit of glitter, a lot of glitter, whatever you want, no glitter is fine too. But a little bit of glitter does make it a little bit sparkly. Okay, so now we are almost done with our seashells. We're gonna set those aside and let them dry while we finish the rest of our craft. And you can always save the glitter for another project. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, your cross has three long stickers. So we're gonna remove this paper backing to show the sticky side of the sticker so we can place our poem onto our cross. Sometimes these stickers can be a little tricky. So if you need help, have mom and dad help you with them. Okay, so our next step, what we're gonna do, and again, sometimes the packaging does get a little bent, so smooth it out a little bit and then you'll be good. So the next step, we're gonna take our poem and then with the poem side up, facing up, we're gonna place it on our cross. And you wanna leave a little bit of space on each side so we can put our popsicle sticks 
as a border. There we go. And you want to smooth it out so it gets really good on a sticker. So we don't want it going anywhere. Okay, and just give it a little bit of a press down. Make sure it's sticked onto the foam. Okay. So the next step, we're gonna take a little bit of glue, just a little bit of Elmer's glue, or um, you can do a glue stick, but I definitely strongly suggest using um, Elmer's glue, liquid glue. Then we're gonna take our tie, our string here, do a little bit of dab of glue right here and a little bit right here. Two little dots, that's all you need. And then you're just gonna place the string like, like that. Okay, so now you have several popsicle sticks. You have some small ones, you have some medium sized ones, and then you have some really long ones. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our long ones first. So you'll see, you'll have these, you'll have two of these, several of these little ones, and then you'll have a couple medium sized ones. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the long ones first. The long ones are gonna go right here. So you're just gonna line it up Again with their foam and then the palm. And again, just remove the backing of that sticker off. And then just press it down a little bit just to make sure it is on that foam piece. And do the same thing with the other side. It's okay if it's not exactly straight doesn't need to be perfect. Okay. Now we are going to use the two medium sticks like these ones for the top and the bottom, but we're only going to do the this part, part first. Again, they're just stickers, so you just remove that back part. Makes it a little bit easier. And now with this, you're gonna go over the two long sticks, just like this. Like here? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our small popsicle sticks, okay? And then the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna place it right here, right next to this one. And this edge, and this side, okay? And then we're gonna go on top of that one with this one. And same thing for the left side. We're gonna take another small popsicle stick. Lay it flat there. And then connect these two sides right here with this other one. go doing the top of the cross and we're gonna start on the left side and bring it up to the top and then we're gonna take one more small one for this side and then we're gonna go on top of these two right here So all of your connecting popsicle sticks are gonna be on top of each other.
Okay, and we're gonna take our last popsicle stick and then we're gonna go over the top right here and cover the string. Now you can always put the string on the back part of the of the cross right here if you wanted to as well. But I just did it on the front. And if you have to make any adjustments like I just did with the popsicle sticks, they're usually a little bit easier at first to adjust them, but once you have them set on there, I wouldn't do much adjusting because sometimes it can rip up the foam. So doing a little bit at first is fine, but make sure you get that in place and then we can start on the placement of the feet. So in the sample I have here, I have one place down here and then two down here. And as you read the poem with um, mom and dad, you'll see why that there is one foot here and then there's two foot. One foot for us, one foot for us, and then one foot for Jesus. Because Jesus walks with us, even though we don't see him. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of our foam foots again, remove this little sticker on the back. And then I'm gonna place it on a diagonal right here. like that okay and then we're going to go and do the other two feet and we're going to put them in this corner that's where there's most space to put that set of feet and then when you get a chance definitely read the poem with mom and dad it's a really great poem Okay, so now that we have the feet on our cross, we're gonna put this little bow. Now you can put this anywhere you want. The direction's gonna say it's gonna put, you can put it at the top of your string like this. But what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the bow right here. So you just take a little bit of glue, just a dot. I'm gonna put a dot right here. And then I'm gonna attach the bow. Now again, you don't have to add the bow if you don't want to. Just to add a special touch. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna add our seashells. So they should be dry right now. And you can add these wherever you want. I think I'm gonna add this one right here. You're just gonna take your glue. And what you're gonna do, because seashells are kind of weirdly shaped and on the bottom. What you're gonna wanna do is because there's nothing right here. It's empty right here, it's hollow. What you're gonna wanna do is take this glue and do like an outline on the bottom of the seashell. Or you can do it on the cross itself. And just outline the seashell on the bottom with the glue because that's where it's gonna attach to the paper or sit on the paper. So just do a little outline and then just put that seashell wherever you wherever you want it. I'm gonna put mine, one right here. Again, it's not gonna stay at first. Just gotta let it dry. And then just press it down a little bit. This one's not wanting to stay, but it will once it dries. That glue will get tacky and it'll, it'll stay. And again, exactly like this one, it's weirdly shaped on the bottom. So you can just put a little bit of glue where you can. It's not gonna sit flat, especially this one. Or if you have other seashells you wanna add onto this cross, you can add those as well at, if you have some at home. Or if you have any stickers that you wanna to add to this, you're more than welcome to. Again, like I've said before, this is your special uni craft, so make it however you want it. Again, this one's a little bit more tougher, so I'm gonna add a little bit more, more glue. Let's see if that helps. And then most important part of this is definitely letting it dry, especially for the seashells sea when you're gluing them onto your cross. There we go. Okay, so I think I'm gonna add this last one. I want to stay on my fingers. <laughs> I think I'm gonna add this last one right here. So like I said, I'm gonna Outline the bottom of the seashell with some glue. And I'm going to 
going to place it right here, right next to the bow. And then just press it a little bit, make sure it's, oh, there, had me a little bit more glue. Okay. Okay, so we just finished our last, our last seashell placement on our cross. And this is the final product. I hope you enjoyed the craft and we'll see you tomorrow.